Hi guys and welcome back to Teju TV where we're uncovering ways for you to do less so that you can live more. And for today's episode, we're going into a career hack. And this is a question I get all the time. How do I effectively network with influencers? How do I go to a networking event and leave an impression so that the people that I need to get connected with actually will call me back? That's something that I hear all the time. So I'm gonna give you guys five key ways to do this. Let's just jump in. So the first thing you wanna do is actually shift your mindset. A lot of times when people think about networking, they think, I need to find some people that can help me, help my career, give me that next job, help my business, raise money, whatever it may be. They're always focused on their end goal. And what you've gotta do is shift your mindset to focus on building a long-term relationship with someone that's going to help sustain you over time. So you want to approach networking like, who can I be friends with? Who can I add value to? Um, who can I build a positive relationship and rapport with? Because at the end of the day, people want to help people who they are friends with. So you don't want to go into a networking event thinking, give, you know, take, 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 take. It's let me build a relationship. Let me find commonalities. And then that person will be able to, you know, eventually help me out and I'll be able to help them out. That actually leads me to tip two, which is related. You want to focus on give, 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 give. And Gary Vaynerchuk in his book, Jab, 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 Right Hook, talks about this as well. So when you go into a networking situation, what you want to do is ask two key questions to figure out how you can best give to that person. Number one, ask them, hey, what are you working on right now? And you'll get a ton of different answers. Maybe the person is working on starting a business or writing a book. Maybe they just had their first child and they're looking for parenting tips. You want to ask them specifically what they're working on. Then after you've shut your mouth and listened, then you want to figure out, so what's challenging about that situation? Again, the question is, what's challenging about that situation? Or what are you learning in that situation? That's the question you want to ask. Instead of, well, how can I help you with this? Which sounds a little bit contrived. So focus on uncovering and unearthing where the person is experiencing challenges so that you can automatically think about people that you know in your network, maybe experiences that you've had, so that you can add value. Maybe you can connect them with someone, or maybe you're an expert in the area that they're experiencing challenges in, and you can add some you know, value through key tips and advice. So focus on uncovering those challenges. Now the third tip for today is you wanna do the close and, and get their information. So either by getting their business card or actually just taking out your phone, which I think is the most gangster way to do it. Just take out your phone and be like, okay, what's your information? Give me your information, give me your email, hand them your phone. Business cards, yes, they're still effective. If you're gonna give someone a business card, make sure it's a cool business card. Don't give them like a flimsy little papery something or other. Give them a legit business card, something that's got weight to it, something that's square or a different shape so that it's memorable. But again, the most G way to do it, say, hey, would love to connect with you. Take out that slick iPhone that you've got or whatever phone you've got, have them enter your digits, and then be on your way. And don't forget to follow up. A lot of times people will be at networking events, they'll collect a ton of information, follow up with people, start that dialogue on email, reach out to them over the phone, and make sure that you're continuing to be forward-facing and a valuable add to that person's life. I've got two other incredible tips for you guys. Head back because we've created some resources and tools related to those tips. Want you to head to Teju TV and check those out. Like this episode today, share it with friends. If you know people who are trying to get their networking on, up-level the people that are in their sphere of influence, hit send on the video and get it out to them. Don't forget to head back to Teju TV where every week we've got incredible tips like this. Business, career, lifestyle, fitness to help you do less so that you can live more. Till next time guys.